Yellow spinner, you're on Penstock. My name is Alex Sukhov and today we'll show you one of the most probably famous hard power tricks in pen spinning. For me it was kind of mental milestone, after passing which you get up to a new level of the skill. It is a very popular trick invented by Spinner Pim in 2009. It looks sick by itself and even sicker in combos. Yeah, Spinner Pim has invented this trick and I decided to make this tutorial with, with the Buster CYL, a pen mod which he invented as well. So high tool looks like this. Basically it consists of three parts. A starting trick, which can vary, hand bust, which also can vary, and fingerless thumb around. There are several ways to do high tour. Spinner Pim showed it one way, Katrin showed another, Super Walrus also another, and uh, VGG completely another way. This is one of those tricks, execution of which depends on your style. I will show you the way to learn high tour, which helped me to master it in about a week, even though I've been trying to learn it for months by that time, using other methods. First of all, I, re I recommend you to learn how to start high tour with extended thumb around, because this way it will be easier for you to learn how to throw the pen on your hand, which is initial, initial movement. Because when you do extended thumb around, you already throw the pen on top of outer side of your hand. Now practice how to throw pen mod on your top of your hand, so that it falls after passing pinky. So instead of catching pen mod in 1-2, you move index and middle finger one to another and close the gap between them. When you do it, focus on trying to make pen spin one 0.5 rotation and to fall over pinky finger closer to its cap. You will also need to turn the hand towards to yourself like this to make the edge for the pen to fall from. When you can do it, try to flip the hand from palm down to palm up pretty fast. By that movement you need to throw the pen in the air and then try to catch it in your palm from the opposite side of your hand, from the inner side. Just to my mind, performing full high to how it should be done, harder if you are started with the extended thumb around. Because this way pen spins too much and it is harder to control it to make it turn over thumb. But this way it is much easier to get the con concept of doing this really hard and pretty complex trick by dividing it into two parts. At this point it is much easier to get the concept how to flip the hand from palm down to palm up correctly, because you need to like throw the pen when it is at the edge of your hand. And it doesn't really matter which finger you use as an edge to throw the pen in the air, you just need to learn how to flip the hand. So you flip it, throwing the pen, bumping it in the air, and then you turn the hand when the pen is in the air and just catch it. Practicing of this part will help you also to control the pen, its movement, so it wouldn't fly all over the place, you will try to keep it low, not to throw it very high in the air, because this way this trick will be much more uncontrollable. So when you do extended thumb round, you throw the pen and then you turn the hand, letting the pen slide at the edge, and when it is close to its cap, you make this flip of your hand. After you have practiced enough, and after you can do it pretty confidently, you can move on to the next part. Now we need to turn pen over a thumb doing English thumb around at the end of the trick. And this part is much easier to do when you started with a good old twisted sonic bust. When you do bust, you need to throw the pen on top of your hand and let it slide up to pinky finger. This way you don't need to make the pen spin on top of your hand, so in future you don't need to deal with the twirled pen. You will have much more control and the pen will be much more stable. But now you need to pay more attention on how you throw the pen in the air, because this way it loses momentum, so you will need to make this flip of your hand much sharper. You will need to actually move the hand up, and also to throw the pen you will need to make the edge also sharper. For that, when a pen slides towards to pinky, I raise and turn the hand towards to myself pretty much and do it pretty sharply. So by that movement I make the edge sharper and also apply more sharp force to throw the pen. As you can see when I do high two after Twisted Sonic, I let pen make one full circle and then just let it slide towards to pinky, then I turn hand to myself and flip it to let the pen turn over thumb. You can also make it like a real hand bust 
by letting the pen go just straight to pinky and then just make high tour. But for me it doesn't work that well and it is much easier for me to let the pen make one full circle and I think that it also looks nicer. Try both of them and figure out which one works better for you. Again you do twisted sonic, throw the pen on top of your hand and then you turn hand moving pinky up. You can also move pinky up by itself, but to my mind it is a little more difficult. I begin to turn hand to throw the pen when it is close to its cap. And also I try to lead the pen towards to center of pinky, not base, not top, but to the middle. For me it works much better, the pen feels much more controllable. When the pen goes up to pinky, if you try to keep it perpendicular to your fingers, it will make it easier for you to do fingerless thumb around in the air because it will go organically. If you do it like I do sometimes at the angle towards two hand, well you will need to find the way how to do fingerless thumb around at the end but it is not that hard. You make this pretty fast flip and at the same time you will need to catch the pen with the thumb. For that you will need to move the thumb to make the pen actually go over it. So instead of catching the pen in your hand, you will need to like catch it with thumb and let it spin over it. You can see that when I do high tour, I move thumb closer to hand, just so it wouldn't interfere pen's movement over hand. And then I just move it away when it is time to catch the pen in the thumb flap. Just try to not to move hand much up and down, try to just flip it like this because if you will move hand much you will have no time to catch the pen if you will watch closely to how I perform high tour you will notice that I almost don't throw the pen in the air it like continues spinning over my hand and then over thumb it just continues spinning and uh, I just do this flips with my hand I lead the pen towards to pinky then throw the pen it just continues moving and turns over thumb by itself I don't really do much to catch it in it and sounds and looks impossible, but it, in fact it isn't. And I think that a couple of evenings will be fine for you to master this trick. Just keep on practicing, get a good pen mod from penstock.net of course. For example, Buster CYL works really fine, I think that probably Spinopim invented this trick with this pen mod. It is a little bit modified because originally Spinopim didn't use any ball grips and uh, air feed tips. So to feel classic you can get a Buster CYL and just remove these parts and you will feel the pen mod like Spinopim did. I wish you good luck with all that and then spinning. May they style be with you. Bye.